hey guys so here are five ways you can start a blog on instagram and make money out of it are you interested in blogging on instagram are you interested in making money online or making money on instagram to be specific so if you are then this video is for you welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for returning and if you are new you are highly welcome my name is Zainab Umar Bafa. i'm a digital marketer working from home and um, on this channel i create content on how to use how to make money online using digital marketing strategies so if you are interested in this kind of content please stay subscribe and um, yeah like this video let's get started ramadan mubarak ramadan kareem if you are watching this in ramadan because i'm filming this in ramadan my energy level is low i'm hungry i know i've been complaining for the past two three videos but guys yeah um so let's continue on this video. the number one way or step that you need to take for you to actually make money online on instagram is picking a niche pick a niche what are you going to be blogging about what are you going to be talking about what 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 category what thing are you going to be you know creating content on you can become a blogger in virtually like every aspect every category you can become a mom blog you can start a mom blog talking about you know stuff mothers do and all that you can start a finance blog you can start a cooking blog you can start a skincare blog you can start a um parenting you can do cars if you are a guy you can do you know gadgets smartphones um tech tech blog entertainment you know news and all that i know we are all familiar with you know entertainment blogs lifestyle blogs uh music blogs you know gossip blogs and all that that is not the only category that you can blog about you can blog about virtually like literally everything everything and anything you can blog about that so pick a niche pick your interest ask yourself what are you interested about what is your passion what are you like talking about because you don't want to start a blog on a particular category that you're not interested in at all like you don't have passion for at all because you're not going to be motivated to create and write the content for that but if you're interested you have the passion you can talk about it then trust me you're not going to be burnt out you're not going to feel overwhelmed you're not going to feel uh, you know you're not going to be inconsistent in with your blog so if you are passionate about it then it's going to be so much easier for you to start so that is the first step pick a niche what are you interested about is it parenting cooking washing like basically anything so after that then you come up with your content ideas before you just go and create the blog or create the page on instagram ah uh, mom blog blah 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 wait hold them first you need to come up with your content ideas you need to draft content ideas because it's going to help you in you know being consistent because you don't want to write create a post today and then wait until next week for you to think about what to write again and then post again no you have to uh, um, be consistent the moment you start so that you know your page will grow faster people will know you so come up with content ideas take a pen and paper or your notepad and then draft out the content ideas that you're going to be creating on that particular niche that particular category and then you know source for your content ideas if there is anything that you can source for you can look for you can research on then you can do that google is your friend you know youtube is your friend you know if you're looking for stock photos that you can use you can go to you know um websites like pexels.com on splash pixabay for you know stock photos that you can use for your content and if you're going to be using your own like personal content then you can take your pictures and all that you know just come up with your content ideas and you know generate your content so after that the next thing in fact this should be the first trust me this should be the first you need to understand how to use instagram and how to create content on instagram this should be the first before you even pick your niche so let's rewind <laughs> understand how to use instagram and how to create content on instagram now content on instagram like you know you can create like a single post right you can create a video instagram videos and they are on the rise right now you can do carousel posts and you can do reels you can post on your stories you can go live so as you can see all this that i've mentioned video is needed video content is needed so for your content you need to capitalize on video not just single post not just you know carousels yeah i know carousels are engaging carousels are you know for creating mostly educative content and all that but videos are on the rise if you want your page to grow faster if you want to be known faster then use videos and like most especially your own videos not just you know random videos here and if you can pick up your camera and talk and see something trust me 
you are going to your page is going to blow up really fast and if you use reels or you use instagram videos go live once in a while you know maybe weekly um as a new page before you know it your page is going to go fast so you need to understand how to use instagram and how to create content on the platform this should be the number first the number one step that you should follow before you pick a niche before you come up with your content ideas now the next thing is being consistent you have to be you have to be consistent you have to be consistent so by this you need to create a calendar for your posting what is your posting frequency are you going to be posting twice a day or three three times a day or three times in a week or you know you, you want to go live once in, once a week just outlinings instagram video okay every monday instagram videos okay reels three times a week monday friday monday wednesday fridays for example i'll just set an example okay you're going to you're going live every saturday then you know have a calendar have a plan that you can follow and be consistent trust me if you have this calendar for at least three months or two months and you are posting consistently you're following your calendar pushing out amazing amazing content really video content trust me your page is going to grow and you can start making money with with little followers with as low as 1000 followers you can start making money you don't you don't have to um, reach like 100,000 followers before you can monetize your blog you can start making money as far as you have quality followers you have you know real genuine followers one thing i want you to to understand here is do not cut like cut corners because there are so many blogs that I see on Instagram, they are just, they're just useless, to be honest. Because what they did for them to, you know, they think is wise, they think is, okay, they are, they are going to cheat people. So what they did is they went and bought followers. Yes, they went and bought followers. You know you can buy followers, right? So they went and bought followers. They'll buy a page of 100,000 uh, followers. They'll buy a page for of 50,000 followers. And they will not come and they will not edit, they will change the handle. And then I'll start sharing, you know, uh, screenshotting other content or you know using user generated content and just be posting all those videos if you look at their 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 feed their posts you see the engagement is so 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 low nobody will, like nobody engages with that content despite the huge amount of followers they have and you don't want that it's going to you know do you a, a bad because yeah at the long in the long run so start genuinely create your create Grow your own followers organically or you know you can do add boost of post and you know increase your page visibility and all that but please and please do not go and buy pages do not buy pages with a lot of followers because it's not going to work if you maybe even if you started making money for maybe you're running you're in advertisement for other people and all that they are, they are going to know they are going to know okay yeah and you're scamming people because they are not real followers you're scamming people and they're not their target audience so yeah these are the five steps that you should follow for you to start a blog and make money on Instagram. Now, let's talk about the making money part. There are two basic ways that you can make money as a blog on Instagram. One, advertising through two brand sponsorships or brand deals. Now, advertising, we all know, right? Influencer ads and all that and all that. Yes, you can totally do advertising. You can advertise for different brands and different businesses on your blog. However, not everybody. That is where the mistake comes. And I'm going to do a separate video and talking about influencer marketing and all that, inshallah. But that is not that is not right. Just because you have hundred thousand followers and you blog about, let's say, lifestyle or entertainment or news, it doesn't mean everybody is your target audience. It's not. It, it doesn't. It doesn't mean you can advertise for literally every type of business. No. If you really want your brand, you know, you want to save your brand's integrity and you want your brand to grow, then you have to be specific about the kind of people you advertise for. Let's say, for instance, you have a skincare blog. We talk about skincare and all that. So the people that your audience are interested in skincare, so the brands that you should be working with should be skincare brands, you know, skincare related brands. You don't want to come and advertise for food business. You don't want to come and advertise for uh, 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 what car businesses, you know, on a skincare blog. It doesn't make sense. It's not going to work. So you have to, you have to be specific. Uh, with, the, with the type of people you advertise with, you have to be selective. Don't just say ah, because a lot of so, some people, people, uh, some people, sometimes it's the people that will make you really want to advertise for them. They, they will send you a DM. Please, what is your race card? Or what is your? Do you advertise for people for brands? Please, I want to place an advert on your page. And then you just say ah yes because you see money. No, you have to look at the business first, or you send them your own media kit. Right? This is the type of brands that you work with because this, this, this is the type of your audience that you have. This is their demographic. This is the insight. This is their interest. It is left for them to decide. Or you say, okay, no, your audience or your product, 
your, your product is not going to work for my audience. I'm so sorry. That is all. Go and look for people that will work, a business that will work for your brand. Please be genuine. Some advertise, don't advertise for everybody. And also brand deals too. Yes, you can work with brands, you can create content for the brands, and then you get paid for that. You know, brand deals, brand, brand partnerships, you can do that with big, big brands. And before you know it, as far as you are genuine, right? As far as you, you are genuine, your followers are uh, quality followers and all that. Before you even go and look for brands, brands will, start, will come and start looking for you. And if you are niche specific, that is why I say stay focused. Okay, stay focused. Don't just post today about food. Tomorrow you now come and blog about skincare. Next tomorrow you now blog about cars or phones. No, you are just confusing yourself and confusing the audience and confusing the brands too. Because brands want, uh, uh, like, they want to work with niche specific brands. So if you are niche specific, then brands will. You're kind of attracting, you know, pulling brand, uh, attracting black brands. To your own particular blog and you can charge as high as any amount that you want to touch them per post per story you can create the content for them you know and you know do a partnership with them and then you get paid so yeah these are the strategies or steps that you can follow to make money online as a blogger you know on instagram so if you do enjoy this video please 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 and please support me by subscribing and liking and of course sharing like i always share share with your friends family village people enemies let them come and learn how to make money online okay please do share and um if tar kareem ashara lafia if you're still watching this in ramadan and if you're not rest well and we will go and start researching on how you can you know come up with your own and start your own blog and let me know which blog that uh which blog that interests you what niche are you looking um towards so let me know in the comment section below so yeah bye bye and see you next time inshallah